Hey guys, it's Jackson here. I just wanted to let you all know that we'll be taking fan calls like we have in the past for episode 300 next Wednesday at 12 p.m. EST over on our Patreon Discord. So you can join the fun and festivities by going to patreon.com slash the official podcast, signing up and joining the Discord to uh, be a part of that call. Thanks. Hello, and welcome to the official podcast. This is episode 4,000-something. It doesn't matter. We'll be doing this until the sun burns out. Boys, I have two topics. <laughs> one of them is fine. The other, I think, is fantastic. Oh, let's go with the fine one. The fine one. The really... Yeah, yeah that one's fine. more exciting. Yeah, start off with mm -hmm. the fine one. I don't want to hear that other okay. one. So, I like mediocre. So the really good one or the really just kind of, eh, that's fine one. Yeah, the eh, that's fine one. We need to start off strong. All right. All right. Well, we'll start we'll start lukewarm and build up to the climactic finish. No, sure, just cancel. Why not? No, 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 no. Just cancel that other one. We don't need that. Uh, no, okay, I'll throw it in the garbage. So I went to a wedding this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's the topic. Man, you didn't Weddings. oversell it at all. That is you insane. Did. I did it. What the yeah. fuck? Wait, anyway, you got married? I went to a wedding this weekend, and uh, I had to stay in a hotel. Oh! And... Oh, hotels! That's the topic! It's even <laughs> wilder! What the fuck? I'm two for two! They have those um, around you? <laughs> believe it or not, Jackson. A few. Yes. Okay, um, continue. So, so anyway, so any, anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm staying in a hotel room, mm -hmm. and I just wanted some background noise. You know, mm -hmm. just something to put on while I'm doing whatever. And I flipped on the TV, and it's the first time in, like, I, I can't tell you how many years I sat down and watched regular television. And, uh, you know, it was TV, as you'd expect, but something caught my eye. There was not one, not two, but three different commercials. Holy fuck. Where the gimmick was someone was playing VR and looked like a moron. And they made fun of how stupid they looked playing VR. Are you sure you weren't just on Twitch? <laughs> you didn't accidentally like <laughs> stop no, watching no, no. live so, streams. No. So so it was a car commercial, a vacation planner commercial, and a I think restaurant commercial. And the whole point was they would show someone playing <clears throat> VR and he'd be like breaking stuff and making dumb noises and flailing his arms. And then like the announcer would be like, you could get away like this. And then it'd cut to like the other people driving the car and having fun and be like, or like this. And it was like in all of these commercials, the guy wearing the VR headset was just made out to be the stupidest, most awkward looking person in the world. And I think VR might finally be dead, gentlemen. <laughs> because that's <laughs> what all were they, I see of it now. What, what were they trying to sell? I mean, like the VR so headset? So one of them I remember but, specifically, yeah. one of them I remember specifically was it was like BMW or some like luxury car commercial. And the whole point was they made VR look lame and stupid and not good by having the guy act like a moron and embarrass himself. So then they cut to the his friends who snuck away to drive their BMW who were having like the time of their lives and they were like yeah you could play vr or you could be driving a bmw oh so it's like look you yeah. don't you don't need to escape reality you can live it by driving a bmw kind yeah. of. or it's, escape it's all with about, the bmw it's yeah. kind of like did you ever see that bruce willis movie surrogate probably not but no, like they I all have. live inside and the idea is like going outside's the key so the commercials i guess are trying to be like it's time to get out into reality use our service hmm do you also yeah, think maybe I, it's I because think... um, people who make TV commercials know that only like 80 year old people only watch TV anymore? So they're just trying to display the new, you know, look what the kids are up to these days, how hmm. lame. Yeah, look at these the fucking idiots strapping TVs to their that. eyes and shit. It's insane. I didn't yeah. think of that. That that might be an angle, but all I'm saying is the only perceptions of VR I saw in the wild in like outside of my little bubble was just negative and calling it shit. So. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, that's better what I saw. Is, of I, course, I, I've been never seen money and anyone yeah, in real I mean, life even acknowledge that VR is a thing. I only ever see it online, and even then, in gamer circles only. <laughs> no, man, the, it was it was talked about. I saw commercials, and yeah, it was it was just popping up. I but see, it was only negative. It was only negative. I see so many uh, like VR, and what what are they called? VR experience like pop ups at like shopping centers and stuff where you pay money to go into a VR booth or whatever. So Those they, have existed since I was a kid, though. Those aren't new. Oh, they aren't? Well, yeah, they, but now they, they use, like, current here. tech, like, rifts and yeah, quests it, and shit. Yeah, but it's not, like, a new thing because VR is popping off. But like, what was it before? Always existed. Well, again, to go to another movie, did anyone see Sinbad <laughs> <laughs> by chance? Yes. Sinbad? I did. Or, not, not Sinbad. It was, a. Uh, I think it was First Kid, and it had Sinbad in it, the actor. Oh. They go to a mall, and the kid is in one of those VR setups at the mall, and he's playing, like, laser shooter extremo, yeah. and that's, like, a big scene there. That's what I remember growing up. They used to have those kind of kiosks set up where you would put on, like, this giant bulky headset and play, like, a blaster game or something. Oh, the better one, man, was when they do that and also put you on a treadmill so you can run uh, in every direction. Do you remember I, that? No, I never actually saw those. I knew, I knew oh, they existed. I, I never saw them, though. And then the best one ever was when they would hook you up to a fighting game and there was like and a sensor in the middle <laughs> yeah well well they would set two people in it and there was a sensor in the middle and you would punch and kick towards that and it would make your character in the game punch and kick oh, but and you it, just it reminded, never worked you just reminded me of one of my favorite games at disney quest it was a virtual cop i think and it oh, had, oh, had the lean yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could also yeah, that so game's like, amazing. It it mirrored your body movement, so it's kind of like a, a prehistoric connect almost, but much yeah, yeah, more yeah. refined. So you'd be mm -hmm. able to like duck and dodge bullets, like like with your body, and your character would be doing it in game. It was so cool. Well, wait, it was how, amazing how did they too. Track, did they track it through the gun? No, no there were they, there were like seven sensors around yeah. the machine that were aiming at the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They and it was, it was great because when you got shot, your guy would go, two, 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 two. <laughs> the and then uh, the guy would go, officer, down. I fucking love that game. I got to the final level and then ran out of quarters. I'm so pissed. So it's like they duck hunt. In... <laughs> yeah, I guess. They had, they had that at a, a, a bowling alley we used to go to, Andrew. Yeah, they, they had it in arcades like everywhere. Yeah. It was a really popular game because it was really good. I remember towards yeah, the I end, you start too. going in with like, it's it's funny, you always play as like a beat cop, who's like just a like guy in his little officer hat with a revolver, and towards the end of the game, you were going in with like the SWAT team and the army and shit. It was so funny. Well, yeah, you get promoted, obviously. <laughs> you do, actually. Yeah, it wasn't called say Virtual, Virtual Cop. cop. It, it is, I'm looking at it. It is, the, yeah, Virtual Cop. Uh, I just looked it up, this isn't the one I'm thinking of. It's uh, Police 911, it's this one. Virtual Cop might do the same thing, but the one I'm actually oh. thinking of is Police 911. No, you're it, right. I think Virtual Cop is the... It's the Sega Saturn game. That's the, oh, that was the home console yeah. game. Police 911 is what we're talking about, Andrew. Right, you're right. But you know, you had the... So they had a giant yellow mat at the bottom, and you put yep. your feet where it said, and it, you literally had to, like, Neo from the Matrix to dodge bullets, that's, and it was fucking awesome. So, it was so cool. That's why yeah. I said, isn't it done through the gun? Because Virtua Cop was a... You use a gun in... Well, obviously, you use a gun, but you use, like, the, uh, the light gun, you know, the light gun sensor <laughs> yeah, for that yeah, game. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I thought yeah. maybe... Also, um, every Police enemy that showed up... Every enemy that showed up on screen, they would highlight their gun with a big red circle, and you'd yeah. get bonus points if you shot the gun out of their hand for yeah, non-lethal. Yeah, yeah. But I always tried to shoot them in the head, because, yeah. Oh, police 911 I'm an American so cop. Cool. I've never heard of Police 911. <laughs> oh, good game. God. Just watching it right now <laughs> makes me want to play it. <laughs> it's so good. You go to like a fucking like nightclub, you go to like the back of a restaurant. It was this so cool. technology was actually kind of popular for a little bit. I, and I think it was very ahead of its time. They had a boxing game very similar to this where you um, would like lean and dodge punches just like yeah. that. Yeah. And you had to put the gloves in front of your face to block. And when yep. you when you got to the end, they would be standing there and you had to do like a fist of the North Star rapid style punching. <laughs> and the way that yeah. you would cheat, the way you would cheat is instead yeah. of actually punching, you take one glove off and shake it as fast as you can. Oh my God, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or you do what like every kid did and you do like the little baby punches where you just like, yeah, yeah you barely <laughs> you can't like claw his face. You can't see what I was doing, but oh. on the video you can. So go back to the video, Andrew, and see what I was doing to make sure like I was doing the right technique. Oh man! Yeah, and then talk about it, it next week. So Andrew, fun. comment on it next week in next week's episode. Yeah. God, what? 
What was that game called though? Because that game was amazing. It was like Rumble Boxing or some shit. Uh, so, let's see. What? So, all right. I'm so why? To find it. Why did this technology rule? Why did you enjoy this kind of stuff so much, but you didn't support the Connect? You fucks. It could be massive. Mo cap boxing was that oh, it? That might have been it. Connect was just trash. Yeah. Did you ever try the Connect, Jackson? It just yeah. Didn't work. Well, you you were forced to try. It. Remember, they <laughs> sold every Xbox One with the Connect. Oh yeah. You had to use the Connect for a while, um, but yeah, the games were trash. But it's like this—it's the same thing, really. They're not that different. It, it is pretty different though, because with the Connect, let's take Police Nine One One for example. You don't have like a gun that you're holding; it's just your fingers you're pointing, and it's like barely mimicking your movements in the Connect. Yeah, this this game was like really good it was really responsive whereas the connect yeah. was pretty don't, hit or miss <laughs> don't they use connect for like surgeries and hospital and, and like high-tech shit i don't think you could use police 911 in a what? surgery setting yeah apparently they do i don't not surgeries no i don't know about i think that. they do oh well all right fact checking Are you thinking time. about the whole they... lens that's a completely no, different no, no. thing I'm, I'm talking about the connect the connect was absolutely used for more than just gaming the, the technology connect was actually had pretty good applications it had applications outside of gaming when it was new for like cameras for basic shit, but not for surgery. Why would they use it for surgery, Jackson? How would that help them? <laughs> All right, here yeah, we go. Connect work? launches a surgical revolution. And now, granted, this is an article from Microsoft, but it's still an article nonetheless. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Buy Surgeon Simulator for the Connect. <laughs> Play it on your Xbox. Uh, it seems yeah. like marketing mumbo jumbo. Well, no, there's pictures in there say? of uh, surgeons having fun while someone's bleeding out on the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's for morale, oh, if anything. Man. They get to play uh, Jungle River Raft while the patient's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> what is this from? What do you oh, mean? This is from, from over 10 years ago, Jackson. <laughs> yeah, when the Connect was a fucking <laughs> yeah, thing. What they... do you mean? <laughs> well, that clearly went nowhere is what I mean. Well, no, there's, from 2016, that's just six years ago, there's a YouTube video from UCSF Orthopedic Surgery talking about it as well. I, oh I, my god, I this is, they literally, okay, have you actually read the article? It says they literally just use it to, no, like, I operate did, but everyone the else screen. Read headlines. They zoom in. Yeah, it's, Jackson, I'm reading the list of where it's applied in medicine right now. It's got basically two actual uses. The first is they use it as a fucking gesture screen or yeah. gesture. Oh, so screen. they don't have to touch the so screen. They don't have with to their touch it fingers. after. Yeah, or if they scrubbed Ooh. out or any of that. And then the other, <laughs> and then the other application, which might blow your mind, Jackson, is they use it as a camera for physical therapy <laughs> and fitness. <laughs> but the Whoa. first, wait, but the th first thing My is an actual. Blown. The first thing that you said, where they pinch to like increase the view on the camera, that is what the Kinect is for. That is like its purpose. So that's still makes yeah, sense. But we have but touch screens such a now. Basic What's the point? Thing. It didn't. It we didn't have, have to be a Kinect that could do that. That's a basic like gesture technology camera. Yeah. Like, why were they using the camera? They could have used. Now. They they could have used Police Nine One One for that. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> you're a doctor all scrubbed out and to move the X rays, you have to wiggle your body back and forth. <laughs> Nurse, put a quarter in the, the machine. Cabinet. I've got to go into the files. <laughs> <laughs> Patient down. It's fucking funny, actually. Like along with the Hololens, seeing that. Microsoft is pushing this technology into the medical sector in every sector that they can. What was even the pitch that, okay, we have a camera where we have a game. It's a silhouette that dances and you have to stay in the silhouette and the camera tracks you, but you can also use it in surgery, I guess. Would you like to pass <laughs> millions of dollars? <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. This, this is an scam. actual application. So uh, this is a National Center for Biotechnology Information Report about the evaluation of Kinect 3D sensoring for healthcare imaging. So using the Kinect, they're able to create like a 3D representation of the body for further analysis. So that's something. Jackson, it is insane how quickly you can write fake articles and present them on the show. That is really impressive. <laughs> yeah, and That's not impressive. Again, Jackson, you can do that with... Almost every camera nowadays. Hey, it's look, I never said it was impressive. I don't know enough about this to know if it's impressive <laughs> or not. I just said that they're using the Connect for surgery and in the healthcare industry, which they clearly are, as I've shown in my class presentation. Don't okay. change the goalpost. <laughs> Fine, you're right. I guess they did try this. 
What was your like wild topic, Andrew? This one was pretty oh. extreme, but what was the I next know, one? That was, like a wild that was a good 14 and a half minutes of topic on that but who's one. Well, would you rather I would you rather <laughs> I read what I'm like legally required to say every episode before we continue to the next topic? Well, that that a, it must be a bulky topic, sure. Oh. Well, I, I just figured why start it when when you know and we got we got some business to take care of, you know what I'm saying? Go for it. I would love to. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college isn't exactly the high point of an academic career. I'm going to be honest with you all. I know a good amount of Spanish from high school, as well as growing up in Florida. It kind of... I'm sure, Charlie, I'm sure you're familiar. Living in Florida, you get a good bit of Spanish rubbed off on you, right? Well, I took eight years <laughs> of Spanish. Yeah. Well, there's a huge Spanish population in Florida, especially South Florida. But... I will say, I took French in high school, and I only remember how to say radio. It's radio. Holy That's fuck. it. Mm. The whole point is good. You're so the whole much point more is that with languages, yeah. I oh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the Parisianness. It's almost as if you don't use a language, you kind of lose it. You don't remember it. It doesn't apply to your life. But with Babel, you're going to be taught bite-sized language lessons that are going to be of things you will actually use in the real world. And that's going to let you actually learn a language instead of try to desperately remember whatever you picked up in that one middle school, high school class or had that one foreign exchange student friend. You know, it was nice talking to him, but sometimes when he would speak in his native language, you'd just be like, well, I'm embarrassed. I don't know what the hell you're saying. Maybe I should learn Korean or Japanese or wherever he was from. Anyhow, the way that you can do that is with Babbel's 15-minute lessons that make it a perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Many of you out there listening are weebs. The official boys are also weebs. Would you like to watch anime without subtitles? That is always the number one reason I recommend learning a new language, because that's <laughs> pretty cool. Well, you're going to have 14 different languages to choose from, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Babbel also has speech recognition technology that will help you improve your pronunciation and accent. Many ways to learn with Babbel. You will also have a 20-day money-back guarantee with Babbel, which will give you a perfect opportunity to give it a try right now. You can save up to 60% off of your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash official. That's spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash official for up to 60% off of your subscription. Ba uh, excuse me, Babbel. Language for life. I almost said Babel. That's not right. I should learn the English language to learn how to say that. Babbel.com slash official. And after I've learned how to speak my own native language that I already speak in a better way, I can look down and finally using my words in English, I can say, I need a new t-shirt. Did I say that right, guys? Did you understand what I said? Mm. Okay, good. Because when I do need a new t-shirt, I'm going to check out True Classic. True Classic is a sponsor that's going to help you find the absolute best fitting t-shirts that a man can buy. Finding the right t-shirt is frustrating. Kaya, I, yes. I need this. I'm dropping. I'm dropping the act. I'm dropping the facade. You're a larger man, like I am, right? So I'm I'm six foot four. I have literally for the last two months been trying to find a brand of t-shirts I like because mm -hmm. t-shirts fucking suck for large men. They're either too, like slightly too short or like too tight in a certain area because they're like, well, if you're tall, we got to make it fat, but you don't want to get like a fat size. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you do That's you relate true. to this, Kaya? Do you have this problem? Doesn't this happen? Yes. Well, my biggest problem is always the neck isn't the right size, so it's always just yes. too small, and it chokes me, and I have a thing chokes about you, that, yeah. like a phobia. It annoys me. I, I agree. I absolutely agree. My problem is I don't want to get, like, a big, boxy, fat person size. Because, yeah, I, I got some flab. <laughs> like moo -moo. I got flab here and there, but I'm not, like, super overweight. But then when I get, like, a smaller fits-me-okay size, it's too short. It's It's like you can see my tummy. I, I don't get it. I don't understand why t-shirts don't come well made for big and large and tall people. And then it's like you order a tall size and it, it's like down to your knees. It's, it's such a weird balance. Ugh. And that's why I'm happy that we have True Classic sponsoring this podcast. Almost all men's t-shirts are designed to look good on skinny models, but most of us aren't skinny models. We're weirdly shaped little gremlin creatures. 
<sighs> we're gonna That's need a true. t-shirt exactly <laughs> oh, oh well <laughs> and we're gonna need to find a t-shirt that fits us well they also don't stop at tees they are a one-stop shop for men's essentials they're gonna have easy simple fits for your wardrobe from polos to workout short workout shirts with the same flattering fit boxer briefs all the things that you'd find in your little dresser drawer or hanging up in your closet they're also going to help you accentuate with a ton of staple colors and options for tall men thank god and going up to triple XL in sizes. It's about time you learn how to dress yourself properly. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with code official. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. 100% risk-free guarantee, 30-day return policy. Do you hear all these positives I just keep rattling off? It sells itself. There's so they many positives. They just keep coming. They just keep coming stay classy with true classic 25 percent off trueclassic.com code official and finally if you're ever considering going to a land where lords and ladies exist well <laughs> you can look up established titles established titles is a project based on a historic scottish custom where land owners are referred to as lords and ladies which is it's cute it's fun you know you're role playing do a little make-believe you can buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land in that area, and they are committed to planting a tree with every order. So basically, you want to buy a nice little tiny way to convert, conserve, ah, conserve, excuse me, the environment, as well as call yourself something fun. Well, that's a great thing to do with established titles. If you buy a title pack, you will have at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. It will have a unique plot number and a planted tree with every order. See, that to me is the biggest thing. If they're planting a tree, any movement out there where they're like cleaning up the ocean or saving sea life and wildlife or planting trees or whatever, it's fine. You know, bring anything you want to the table. Give me any consolation prize. I enjoy saving the environment. It's a great last minute gift. And you get to walk around calling yourself Lord Blank or Lady Blank. And it, that's just fun. It's just like some Renaissance Fair stuff. You know, don't you want the Renaissance Fair to come to your home at all times, whenever you want? I know I do. Thanks to Established Titles for sponsoring today's video. Established Titles is now running a great Labor Day sale. Get an additional 10% off of any purchase with code TOP for the official podcast. Go to establishedtitles.com slash top. Ah, uh, ah, uh, look at that. Mm. And help support the channel. Our show's kind of amazing. We we get both the Jack Off podcast and top. We get out so of our many names. Isn't that great? We get, a, mm -hmm. we get a lot of great stuff here. Holy shit. Uh, establishedtitles.com slash top. Support the channel. Get 10% off. Do something nice for the environment. Yeah, the tree idea is a nice one. Trees last for a long time, too. Until you cut them down. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they cut them down. Or so burn them. On that front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do anything with them, really. You just leave them and they yeah. last a long time. In fact, for every plot you don't buy, we'll cut down a tree. <laughs> so get moving. <laughs> Holding the trees hostage. I like that. <laughs> uh, all right. So I guess I'll go to my next topic. Uh, so... It's relevant to the same story. I went to a wedding this weekend and I was on a plane. Oh. And I'm not I'm not Jesus, gonna we, we talked this guy a lot. lives a crazy life. I know, Two weddings in one weekend, Andrew? How did you have the time? Oh, I, oh boy, it was a tight schedule. I nearly fainted from exhaustion, but so we talk about planes a lot. This has nothing to do with the plane itself. Uh on Thank one God. of my flights, on one of my flights, the row in front of me only had two seats. I was in like a normal three person row and the row in front of me had two because it was an exit row near like a big fucking door. And that meant that the person in front of me, I could see absolutely everything they were doing because I was on the end of the three person row and they were just in the middle of the two person. So I could see everything this guy was doing. And he was like probably late 50s, early 60s, balding, a little sweaty. 
you know, kind yeah. of but just like an old looking, old looking, Basically kind dead. of like a dude who would be like higher up in a company, just an old looking kind of what stern looking man. Was a duck. piece of shit, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> going to be guy. very relative. That's going to be very relevant to this story, Charlie. I'm glad you said that. Oh. So I, I'm sitting there doing my shit. I brought my Switch, was just playing some games. And I glance up and he's got his phone out and he's got like the in plain Wi-Fi. And at first he's browsing for business computers. He's literally on Amazon, he's comparing prices. He's like, oh, this one's like a dual core Intel, Wait. whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's great, I don't care. Andrew, so go back Andrew. to playing some games. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but can we, can you frame this story in such a way that we have to guess the outcome? Sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. So, so hang on. So I play some games and then, you know, I take a break again and I look up and I see something on his phone. Okay. And all I'll tell you is this. I saw the word cock okay. and the word <laughs> pussy. Now you can guess. What did I see? He was writing a lovely email to his wife. Okay, Kaya. Mm, he was buying a chastity cage. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> he was reading erotic fanfic. Ooh. Charlie is correct. Let's what? go! I saw the word cock and pussy, and I went, now wait a minute, what is this? And I started reading what was on his phone. He was reading mother-son incest porn. Holy fuck. <laughs> like, the, like a transcript How? or like fanfic? No, he was on literotica.com, which I saw because of the banner ads, and he was reading a self or a first-person perspective story of a mother having <laughs> sex with her son. The How big is his font? This because I read along with him for about 10 minutes. How big is was his font? I wanted to make sure. Well, so he was old, and it's funny. He pulled out his text at one point, and they were huge. His text message <laughs> font was like maybe <laughs> one message could fit on the screen at the time. Because he was an old man, so he probably had bad eyesight. So when he was reading this fan fiction, this fucking mother-son incest porn, one paragraph took up the whole screen. He had text-to-speech on accessibility so I could as read well. It. <laughs> he was just reading out loud to the entire plane. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's times like this where I'm glad I'm a complete fucking loser degenerate online because I wasn't embarrassed. I thought it was the funniest fucking thing I'd ever seen. Why would you I wasn't be like, embarrassed? Oh god! Oh no! Yeah, you should have <laughs> leaned forward and been like, "Can you can you scroll down? Can you send me that?" Link? <laughs> Yeah, well, can you scroll back quick. up? I wasn't finished reading. <laughs> he was a f yeah, he was a fast reader. He was fucking scrolling through it like he would just fly through it though. The Maybe was he a, was a savant. Okay, how about maybe he is the author and he was just spell checking it yeah. or something. That's the funny. No, that's the funny thing. I thought maybe someone like uh, he had a friend or he wrote it or something. He scrolled at the bottom and it was an account uploaded by someone whose profile picture was like a like late uh, 30s woman. No, that doesn't mean and anything. Then, yeah, he could and be. And then when, it, when he was done. Well, well, it, OK, it might not. But when he was done. He clicked her profile picture and read another story from her profile. <laughs> this time, he's a fan. This time, it was lesbian <laughs> hypnotism. So the man has a lot of tastes. He has he has a very refined palate when it comes to literotica. But he was just doing this on the plane, just in view of everybody. Did he have, did he have anyone he next to him, or was he the entire yeah, road he, to himself? Yeah, he was sitting next to another guy about his age, and I don't think they were together. <laughs> so he just that didn't is... care. That's fucking goofy. <laughs> so to make sure that I was I was uh, seeing what I was seeing and it was true, I wrote down some choice lines that I could see <laughs> on my phone. If you'd like me to recite oh, them, oh yes, please, yeah, please, yeah. yes. Um, okay, so the first one is, and this this is from the uh, first person perspective, mother son incest. If you really want to be my whore mom, said Harry. Yes, Harry, I replied. <laughs> Let me come in your ass. Uh, that's quite direct. Mm -hmm for that kind of relationship. And that's, that's about Harry. the line where I was like, yeah, this is what this is, isn't it? Uh, on the lesbian hypnotism one, I wrote down, I wonder how many cocks you've had in your mouth, Rachel. Kind of hot considering you're a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Is that like a conversion? That, that's what lesbians are known for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> loving cock but i think that, i think that's what the kink is there it's like they're trying to convert lesbians mm -hmm. in or no oh, yeah that's definitely I mean, that's the classic male was. kink yeah 
it definitely was a conversion kink because the whole story like 50 times kept saying Rachel couldn't believe what was happening. She thought she was gay. <laughs> like it, it just said that over and over and over again. And then finally, <laughs> finally, probably my favorite I have, there was a loud thwack and a wet mark on her face <laughs> from his cock. <laughs> Nice little action panel. Yeah, it's like, pretty like cool. Some the Iron Man. sound effects. <laughs> Whammo! So could Come you see him he, like, pitching a tent <laughs> in a seat? I, well, that I didn't check. I didn't personally care to see. What is even the point of that, of just, like, making yourself frustrated in, on a fucking airplane I where you can't even know. jerk off? That's, yeah. dude, that is what I kept thinking. He never went to the bathroom, so it's not like he went to go jack off in private or something. And as far as I'm aware, he wasn't jacking off in his seat. So my question was, why read porn fan fiction just in the middle of a plane in view of many other passengers for no reason? Well, he was why? looking up business laptops before, so maybe it is a business angle. Maybe he's, like, an editor or something. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, but here's here's the other funny thing. The last thing I wrote down on my phone, because I didn't want to forget this, he went to his home screen at one point, and his desktop, or his phone wallpaper was of, like, seven different children, all posing for a family photo, so I'm assuming he had kids and grandkids. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's like, like if that's your background on your phone, why would you read this on your yeah, phone? Yeah, you need like a burner phone for your insight. Yeah, exactly. Oh, boy. And he did this all flight. Uh, Do you like think he, he... he went to check stocks at one point, but then it was right back to the point. <laughs> <laughs> he was, Work he is was calling. Animal. It was an hour. It was an hour and a half flight. And for a straight hour and 15 <laughs> minutes of it, he was reading porn. It was amazing. I was fucking flabbergasted. That's so fucking bizarre. Do you think he's, he's telling the story to his family and friends right now about <laughs> how he was he was looking behind him uh, himself on the flight, looking at you playing with your Nintendo Switch, thinking, yeah, about what, what a nerd. Yeah, what a fucking loser. It doesn't really. At least I'm reading porn, porn like a man. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, he's probably like, well, that's that's Andrew from the official podcast. I'm gonna give him a story he won't oh, forget. Oh yeah, you <laughs> hate this guy. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, fucking, so Juliana, my girlfriend, was next to me in the seat, and I, I literally showed her my phone, because I didn't want to say it out loud, and I had wrote, the guy in front of me is reading mother son incest porn, and she just went, what? And leaned over and saw it, and confirmed, and it's like, it, it, I couldn't fucking believe it was happening, who does this? You yeah, know? That's, that's pretty aggressive. <laughs> I, but I, I also, this might be like really square, but I think it's like super fucked up to have sex on a plane in general. Like people want to join the Mile High Club. I don't know how you could get in the mood on an airplane and then have sex in the like toilets. They're so cramped and they're the so toilets are like, so shitty. fucking nasty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can barely fit. How do you hump anyone in there? Yeah, I don't know. I it's think weird. it's just a myth. I actually don't even. I, I think you can count on one hand the amount of times that's happened on a public plane. Private planes, I'm sure, yeah. it happens all the time, but public planes, I just don't see it happening. No, Wasn't it's not even an arousing place either. It's super loud and everyone's yeah, like yucky. coughing and gross. It's like yeah. cold. It feels like you, there's like a perpetual cold going around. Yeah. Uh, um, like I, I could get, I could get reading porn for the story if you find a genuinely interesting one i don't know but number one i was reading along and this story was not very good it was like a fifth grade reading <laughs> level it was just not interesting and number two i what if you're not reading it for the plot why are you reading it on a plane of all places like the least, one of the least arousing places you can be Maybe he may. Well, he's an old guy. Maybe he's got to do a lot of pre gaming. So he was getting ready for once he gets on the ground. <laughs> he has to spend an hour reading a rhyme yeah. to fucking <laughs> to feel anything, to get some movement. Or he was edging himself. Oh, man. I don't know. There's, there, he was there's a like real, a million different reasons, possibly. He was a real Renaissance man, though. He fucking went for business computers, then he read some porn, then he started trading stocks, read some porn, then he answered text messages about a meeting and read more porn. Like, he he really worked it in there. He just I, couldn't be stopped. I really don't think fucking on a uh, plane is, like, a hypothetical. I think it does happen, because don't... Do you guys remember that uh, viral tweet that went around at the start of, like, COVID? Of the girl licking the toilet seat in the plane. That was that was a private, was a private plane, plane though plane. as well. Mm, oh, yeah. was it private? Well, still, yeah, disgusting. But uh, well, there's also like on Gone Wild subreddits and stuff. There's de I've I've definitely seen people fucking in planes. Well, so yeah, people do I, it. I it. No, I. I Not everyone I, there, flies private. No, to do that <laughs> though, a hundred percent, Jackson. I, I was just on a plane. There is no way 
that's actually getting done it's too cramped and even if that <laughs> yeah. was the case like the jolt like the jostling and everything it wouldn't happen plus the flight attendants are right there yeah that's that's the well, point the i was gonna bring up it's it is super sure. deli no, yeah, no, but... no, 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 no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It is like you are in eye line of 30 people at a time for that bathroom. Even if they're not directly looking at you, someone can glance up and notice two people going into the bathroom. Okay, yeah. counterpoint. Counterpoint. Uh, you flew domestically, Charlie. Domestic planes are much smaller than international flights. On international flights, the, the toilets aren't much larger, but the plane is significantly larger to the point where it's like usually out of sight. Or at least in like the business cabin and stuff like that. So I could see it happening there. Also, most passengers really don't pay any attention or care yeah. what anyone else is yeah, doing. No, you could like ask Andrew me how many people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you nosy bitch. But like when I'm <laughs> sitting there, I don't keep track of who's going to the toilet. The only time I ever notice is whether the toilet is occupied or not because I have to piss or not, you know. Also, sometimes the flight just isn't that full. I've been on more than one flight where I've been almost alone in the cabin or where there were only like 10 people on the plane because sometimes it doesn't get booked enough <laughs> on that occasion you could easily get like a fucking blowjob from your girlfriend but without then, anyone noticing but then they're gonna notice in the opposite effect they're gonna go huh my only two passengers seem to both be in the same bathroom that's kind of <laughs> weird well no no I, I didn't mean the bathroom i meant like again i feel like you could get away with it if you're lucky enough but i meant more like if you and your girlfriend are sitting next, side by side and the cabin is empty and it's after the meal cart time like yeah you can get a blowjob and finger her well yeah i don't that, know about that's writing. different than just yeah that's just different than full-on fucking i've actually seen yeah, that on reddit as well where like they put like a blanket over their girlfriend's head and get a blowjob in the oh cabin. yeah yeah i've seen yeah. it in the cabin more than the toilets actually yeah but um but on international flights everyone sleeps at the same time as well pretty much yeah it would be easy so i think it could happen then hmm I'm not saying it couldn't happen. I just think that yeah, I'm not saying it's never happened. Does the blowjob I just don't think still it's common. qualify you as like the Mile High Club, or do you have to fuck? I don't Is know. It... You'd have to consult the council. <laughs> <laughs> File a the petition elders. to the airline. Hey, this is nothing that guy was probably on it. it. Who? The guy sitting in front of me was probably one of like high elders of the fucking Mile High Club <laughs> council. He probably was a level seventeen wizard on it. <laughs> well, I think reading he was just nonstop. Porn on the flight gets you into the club as well. I'd go well You're the man, in the Mile High he, Club too, Andrew. He also got really lucky. So I, I, he, the website he was on had banner ads and I saw it was literotica.com and they censor their Shout banner out. ads. So he got so lucky because he scrolled down past the story to go to like the ads at the bottom. And it was a woman whose breasts were tastefully covered by like flowers or some shit. But he very easily could have just gone to a website where it was just porn ads. Yeah, just but on his phone. Again, I, I feel like- he cares. I don't think the flight attendants care. I think if, as long as you're not actually whipping your dick out and openly jerking off, I don't think they would give a fuck. They're, oh, they, they would absolutely so give a fuck if you got like titties out on your screen and shit like that. Yeah, no. Yeah, they I think I if, they know, if another right? passenger, no, I don't. No, if another so, passenger some of the complains, movies have tits. Well, that's tasteful. Tits. No, they censor it, don't they? No, I, I don't think no? so. No, I, I, I thought in-flight movies had to be censored for content. No, I, I. I I really don't think they are. I, like, I watched uh -huh. uh, Everything Everywhere all at once on my flight, and there's, like, dildos and shit there. They weren't, uh -huh. like, censored wieners. Hmm. I Maybe mean, again, I don't changed. think... I think <laughs> if you had gotten up, Andrew, and, like, complaints to one of the stewardesses, like, this man is reading porn and it's making me uncomfortable, then and maybe they may have see. stepped in. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I just don't think. I, I feel like they're just too jaded to give a shit. Mm hmm. I think you we're probably. Should... <laughs> you, you should have made a scene out of it like, hey, buddy, <laughs> fuck, I'm trying to read that. And like, it make him uncomfortable and he has to complain. I should have <laughs> been like, this is some hot stuff, huh? Yeah, he, and he's like, oh, what? You degenerate, disgusting. Uh, stewardess, I'm trying I'm to read my porn. I'm an editor piece. for this website, you fucking pervert. <laughs> Oh, you scumbag. <laughs> My god. All I know is if he was an editor, he did a whole lot of reading the entire story without writing down <laughs> any notes or corrections, so... <laughs> I, I think it's oh, probably man. like 10 years until we start seeing porn in the in-flight entertainment systems anyway. I think it'll be uh, allowed. Cause... Sh what? I said, ugh. I could say it. If you, if you paid extra for it, like a porn package, I could say it.
But they have to give you like horse blinders that you put on the screen so only you can watch it. Privacy shields, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like a little box you can put over your groin to jerk off in. <laughs> <laughs> a little privacy cube. <laughs> <laughs> Half the flight is masturbating, but they all just have their little privacy cubes, so you just don't even know. This is the way of the future. It is. Charlie, something big happened this week with you. What, what happened with me? You were <laughs> embroiled in some drama I saw about a comedian. Do you want to tell that story? Oh, that wasn't really drama, I wouldn't say. But yeah, a YouTuber hosted a roast battle that didn't go over super well. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's not like a real big story. It's just well, it was, was embarrassing. It, you just, oh. You're not doing it justice. The 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 guy was fucking awful. <laughs> Damn it! I forgot about <laughs> I that. The stand up. I, for like Jackson five put it in and a, I turned it off. It was so bad. I was gonna clip that and I forgot after Jackson put it there. Explain it at least. It, it, it was a roast battle a YouTuber hosted where he brought in like amateur comics from LA, but I'm pretty sure none of them were actual comics. It was just people that were available at that time slot. So they didn't know any they didn't know each other beforehand. It was just complete strangers and the idea was they're supposed to roast each other. But since they don't know each other, they can't. All they can do is call each other ugly, but they couldn't do that very well either. So one of the roasts, for example, was uh your pants your, uh, your jeans have holes in them. <laughs> and that that was like the roast. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an awful idea because the only yeah. thing you can do is roast each other's appearance since they don't know each other. It's such exactly. a this is a insult. You, did he like sell tickets and shit? Because I'm looking at the video yeah. on, uh, that somebody posted and by my count, there's 14 people in the audience yeah. and they're looking at the smallest stage on earth in which two people are standing. And I feel like uh, I could gather more friends to listen to me bomb on a stage than this guy sold tickets. <laughs> yeah, it was $15 to attend. <laughs> worth every penny if you ask me good it is, lord it is amazing one, one of, of the of jokes the... that i remember was um so i assume it's what is his name deaf noodle yeah. so he's talking i assume that's him to a girl that he's trying to roast and he says you look like my cousin if he was a girl yeah and that was the roast. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was good but I Destroyed. think my favorite roast, though, was, are you from Detroit? And she responds saying, why don't you guess? And he says, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then shortly after that, he says, do you want to make out? And she says, no. And he's like, I knew it. <laughs> it's so it was, bad. It was so good. So what was so the point of this? Good. What was he trying to prove? It was, was just funny. a... It, it was just supposed to be like a roast event. He tried to get like YouTubers to go to like roast each other to settle the beef, but none of them went. So that's what that's what it ended up being. He's a fairly divert, like divisive figure in the YouTube commentary scene. I think I don't know much about him personally, but that's what I've heard. It's just that he's divisive. Um, so and he's always labeled himself as a stand-up comedian. He said he's a successful stand-up comedian. So I that's guess cute. this was his way of trying to prove it. And then obviously, it did not go down very well. How the fuck would YouTubers roast each other? That's, I don't know if you guys have ever watched those old school like MTV roasts that gave a lot of uh, comedians their head starts with like Jeff Ross and shit, and they were mean. Like downright yeah, fucking were, cruel yeah, roasts. Yeah. They You're were kind of a bunch of like mean. neutered YouTubers who can't even like use words anymore because of fear of getting uh, demonetized and shit and put them on a stage. I think one of them used a no-no word and their stream got taken down too in the middle of the fucking show. Oh, uh, yeah, like so how? that's that was that was wild. So that, <laughs> that female comic that he was roasting with at the end, at the very end, she just randomly shouts a slur and it got him banned. Like, <laughs> there wasn't a joke to it or anything. There wasn't, that's like, the real context. Yeah, she just grabbed. She just shouted it. a slur. Was the slur relevant to the person she was talking no, about? No, no, no. It, it actually oh. just came out of nowhere. Like, she, she kept repeating 9-11. She just kept saying 9-11, 9-11. He's like, can you stop saying that? And then she just shouts a slur. Well, that's the peak of comedy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. The, uh, the, the slur, so it's a slur that she's able to use, I think. <laughs> like, she's, she's a lesbian, wasn't she? And then it was a lesbian slur. So maybe it's, it's a slur anyone can use again actual comedians do this all the all the goddamn time like george carlin used to get arrested because he used curse words and shit fucking dave Chappelle dropped the n-bomb a million times throughout his show but you can't just do it if you suck 
And you can't do it if you're a yeah. YouTuber and on YouTube and Twitch. This shit is not gonna... This is why you... Okay, if you stream it on Twitch, yeah. The, I mean, the spiciest joke you can make is, why did the chicken cross the road? Because you're ugly, huh? <laughs> yeah, Twitch is the hey, worst place to do this kind of shit. Kai, right, you should go to the next roast battle. That was fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you guys want to set it up? Uh, I'll cap out the events at 10 people, and I'll sell them at 9.99. <laughs> the tickets. <laughs> we can cool do it at a Starbucks. What a sad event. <laughs> it is. It was really sad. He's doing another one though, so it kind of succeeded in a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's doing another. He's he's leaning into it now. I think he realized the what what happened. So that's good. They're gonna make me laugh now. I have coffee in my eye. <laughs> like a fucking bunch of goofballs. But yeah, that was funny. Um, it's on the. If anybody wants to watch the full thing, it is still on YouTube. You can type in "Death yeah. Noodles Roast" and it's very embarrassing. I still haven't watched the hour between the first set of comedians and Deaf Noodles going on to stage. There's a whole hour of footage that I just can't bring <laughs> myself to watch yet. Well, he had like eight comedians there, or people that comedians? said they were. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so there's like eight different people that cycle on the stage roasting each other, and I have not watched any of those. I watched the first couple where one guy just gets mad. And he said, like, his opponent was fat and no one laughed. And he said, that joke would have worked if all of you weren't fat as fuck as well. So he just started getting mad at the audience. <laughs> yeah, I love oh, that. That's yeah. always great. Yeah, when yeah. a comedian... Well, that's a comedian in quotes, good joke, though. When, no, it's not. When they bomb it, no. and then they start <laughs> insulting the audience, it's always yeah, they get so mad. fucking sad. Why yeah, you guys yeah. don't get no, it? No, fuck no, no, you. No. <laughs> yeah, obviously that's a bad thing to do. But if he did that, I like, and I was there, I would have laughed. I would have thought that was funny. Maybe no, the not delivery the way he did it. was different. Uh, yeah, no, you would have no, laughed at just... him, not his joke. Yeah. It's okay, laughing at this. Oh, okay. Hang on. He just kept right. getting angry. I have the full hour video. Shout out a random timestamp <laughs> and let's listen in for like a minute. How about that? Do oh, I so. Wanna... I've seen the hey. first twenty-seven minutes. He didn't start. He just played music from YouTube. So <laughs> do you Wait, 40... really? Yeah, it, there was a lot of technical difficulties. There's also show a you section. The... Hang on, I don't know if we're at the same video though, so I'll put it in the chat. <laughs> yeah, it seems the full of. I don't see an intro here, but okay, give me a timestamp. Well, don't uh, go to the slur. Whatever you do, <laughs> that, that's choose that timestamp. That's the very last part. So do... I'm going to choose a place where I haven't been. Go to like 45... 30. 45... 30. All right. <laughs> that's the girl laughing. All right. Okay. Imagine if Shakori's dreads, but he was Medusa. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Don't you do that. Miranda was fingering boys on the bus in middle school. Uh, <laughs> girl. Yeah, they fucking loved it. I was one of them, and technically she's not supposed to be within 40 feet of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is going kind of hard. Okay, yeah. all right. That was really good. Pretty good. Okay, so... They're all thinking their own jokes more than anyone. Uh, oh, this is going hard. Sorry. We're having you're a good nanny. Hey, I'm gonna... All right, you gotta I'm gonna see what happened between bro. the guy and the girl here. Let's Follow go with lame jokes. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> All you right. can fucking yeah, bleep that's... it. No, 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 it's just at the very end. Like, uh, so go to, like, I think it starts <laughs> I at know. 51. I'm old. <laughs> I'm 37. You are 37? Damn, you look good for a white person. Can't even hate, though. <laughs> I'm not white. What a great yeah, roast. I'm complimenting you. I'm from Brazil. I know, but you white. <laughs> you just met my parents. What? Yeah, this place messier than your mom's pussy. <laughs> You know you probably ate it. <laughs> yeah, she came, baby. <laughs> oh, this is so awkward. Oh, oh, that's so, so awkward. awkward. I don't know how long it's we're gonna so keep good. going because you're gonna win regardless. Your eyes are too close together. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I wish they were even closer so I couldn't see Ow. you. <laughs> uh, I like that oh, one. That forced laughter. You're not supposed to say, I like that one during a roast. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like, imagine if Eminem did that in 8 Mile. Like, hey, I like that one. Hee <laughs> <laughs> oh, hee. By the way, so she called like, you. <laughs> you look like a white guy or whatever she says, but she's whiter than him. She's just as pasty. I don't know what these dunks are. Yeah, he's, he's also not white. <laughs> and then Everyone... she just says he is. 
everyone there sounds like they don't want to roast each other. They just want to hang out. Like, well, no, like they the don't. Point? They do not like each other, Andrew. Like if you see them on what? stage, like they are not friends at they, all. They sound like they're having a like great time. What no, the fuck? That's Wait, not they the don't like each I other. What? No, that is not the impression I got. What? This just sounds like fun banter, like goofing around. No, None wait, of this no. sounds like a roast. Yeah, wait, no. If they didn't like each other, the roast would probably actually be good because they'd have something to work with. No, they're just... No, they're, they're just unfunny. They're, what? They're just, yeah, not clever or anything, Jackson. Like, they do not like each other. Like, I, I don't think they are friends. <laughs> then why'd he introduce her to his mum? Well, because his parents were there, so I guess they all just met each other. That's what I do for my enemy, yeah. Uh, I introduce him to my parents. <laughs> yeah. The formal meeting. Yeah. Just to keep things fair, even playing field. This is this is painful. Okay, more. <laughs> Assertation? You look like uh, the guy at the party with a backpack, but it's only filled with cocaine. <laughs> hey, coke's That's good. Cool. Yeah, man, we're in LA. Like, you're, you're, you're trying to make me look cooler? But you lace it with fentanyl? Okay. And, yeah, I'm out here killing motherfuckers. Um... Uh, <laughs> Oh, what, are you juggling I'm, now? I'm you're, recoiling. You're trying to, oh, this, no. This is a circus. Why would you do this to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. She's stumped. You just, you want to win? It's over. There's no way I can you win. Look, uh, That's the whole thing. <laughs> Wait, he's I'm like, not supposed to win. Himself? You're supposed to win. You look like a white trash fly. <laughs> what? <laughs> you could have gone any way with that. <laughs> you went with white trash fly? <laughs> She seems so uncomfortable. <laughs> this whole thing you know is so I'm uncomfortable. Just go yeah, okay, it's so well, beautiful. At, it's at a least she's mad at the end. God. So, do you guys love stuff like that, or do you like? I, I love avoid it. it. I, no, I actively look for that kind of shit. I love that. Like, well, again, you, I wouldn't you go. Can't... But yes, I also would watch this online. Well, how would you know? How would you know that it's bad before you go? Because they put it on the internet like this and embarrass themselves. Well, yeah, you wouldn't go next time, surely, but <laughs> the first time. Like, I no mean, one goes to a comedian like... show expecting it to bomb, I assume. I guess, but it's that's like on you. I mean, who the fuck goes to a YouTuber comedian expecting actual good shit? Yeah, it's like... yeah for sure. Wait, but I don't it seems know. like I, most I like of the how people it... got the same idea since only five people showed up. And at the end, by the way, she breaks friends. down and she says, I, I shouldn't even be here. And it's like that. You guys know that moment in Get Out where the one guy gets like a, a phone flash in his eye and for a split second his real personality bubbles up and he's like, everyone get out. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we well, set up a roast painful. battle between Andrew and Charlie in America and you guys stream it? You guys actually know each other though. so that only, would actually... only if it's as awkward as this. Yeah, it has to be like, like planned... Absolute filth, I think. Yeah, I don't think I, roast battles are good. Like neither. Even the Comedy Central ones yeah. aren't very good, except for a couple of a couple of them. Now, even the mm -hmm. good ones, there's just it always feels forced to me. I can never really yeah, enjoy it. But like, for example, the one that pops into my head was the Justin Bieber roast. There was like an actual couple good jokes in there. So mm -hmm. like, there are good moments, but overall, I don't really like the format. Regardless, Kai, I think you do. You like roasts. Nah, I haven't watched any in ages. Like I said, the last one I watched, I think, was years ago, and it was Jeff Ross and such making fun of Charlie Sheen. Yeah, and they were making fun of him, like, beating his then-wife and his uh, him having HIV and shit, so... That was good. I think Jeff Ross was fine at the time. I could be Jeff wrong, Ross, though. yeah, he's the roast master, right? Like, he's the one that mm -hmm. always hosts? Yeah. Uh, okay. He's also the one who always could closes, be. I think. Be. Thought so. I think also, well, I don't really know if this counts, probably not, but when Ricky Gervais is hosting the Golden Globes and shit, and he just calls every fucking rich person in that room a pedophile rapist and shit, that's like, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> because you yeah, can that's see. Also not like a, that that's not a roast battle, that's just like a, a I know. good roast. That's just Ricky Gervais <laughs> being Ricky Gervais. Yeah, that's just you a know set. a roast is good when it just pisses off people, and they like, they're like, well, this wasn't supposed to happen, you're actually saying mean things about me that I don't like to hear. It's like, yeah, that's the point. Uh, so yeah, that's on the internet. I think the difference between a roast and a well, a bad roast and a good roast is just that a good roast is an actual set. Like yeah. it's just working into an actual set and making something, you know, that works. Whereas a bad that's why roast is just awkward one v one. Charlie, like 
Charlie, for our roast, we should bring back basting, where we have to out, <laughs> yeah. we have to out compliment each other. Oh, that was so fun, actually. That I was fun. That. that was so long ago. I know. It was like seven years, six years ago now. Good lord. I, I really don't get what this venue is supposed to be. Like, for those who don't have a video, of course, it, it is so tiny. It is so damn minuscule. I, I don't get it. It's like, what even is this building? It's probably uh, it would have made show. more sense. Yeah, it would have made more sense instead of renting that out to just do it at his house, I think. <laughs> it might be his house. It's not. It, I believe it's a studio he rented out well, for it. Do you think he expected a larger turnout? No, because he, he sold the tickets. He knew how many people were coming. Oh, God. Well, he might have had to book the venue before the tickets were sold. True, 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 yeah. true, true. Yeah, but I mean, even then, it's, again, like I said, there's like 14 people in the audience and they can barely fit in this room. <laughs> One of the chairs is actually empty. Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Three, never mind. <laughs> Good lord. They probably left during the 27 minute stall in the beginning. Yeah, when really he's just playing a YouTube music video. Uh, folks. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, I mean, they were empty from the start, actually. Uh oh. Unlucky. This, this man just like gathered together uh, 20 chairs in this venue that he probably broke into and he couldn't even fill them all for 15 fucking bucks. He couldn't even sell so much as a sandwich price ticket. Is he a super popular YouTuber? He was pretty popular for a while, but he's been on a, a bit of a downward streak because of things like that and <laughs> drama. Wait, Death what the noodles. fuck? He has 19,000 subscribers on the Death Noodles no, no, show. No, no, no. That, that's not his... That's his podcast oh. channel. His actual channel's like 568k. Uh, oh, here we go, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's decent-sized. Oh, he made a video about you. Okay. Retracting my yeah. apology to my critical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did he apologize to you? Uh, so why did he whole, retract it? So the whole thing was just like a sarcastic, like, pity party kind of thing. I don't know. It was really weird. So I made a video talking about how, like, this is the absolute worst way of handling anything because his whole audience turned on him over the last two weeks because that's the third video he's made just like that. So, I don't know, it's just kind of sad to watch someone constantly destroy themselves. So I talked about it, and I guess he re retracted the apology. I, I don't know. I don't really get it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sounds like you're going to enter into a roast battle with him now. What's his channel name again? I can't find it. Uh, Def Noodles. It's Def Noodles. D-E-F uh, right, right, right. Noodles. Thank you. This looks like really what boring shit. Oh. Definitely not a nobody. Definitely sizable audience. Why would you not script this though? Like, why would you go in there completely winging yeah. it and trying to improvise? Improvisation is something that even like improv artists lie about. Like, even they practice and memorize jokes and then pretend that they came up with it on the spot. Improv can I can I offer a small a certain skill? Can, can I offer a small critique to this man? Just like actual constructive criticism, if you guys don't mind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna post the picture in the episode chat. So a lot of YouTubers, to you know, get crank out content regularly, they will reuse faces and thumbnails. Like a good example is SS Sniper Wolf. She has like four different faces on her thumbnails. You know what I'm talking about? Where you kind of yeah. pick one that's appropriate the for the video. The so Def face, Noodles, yeah. Def Noodle has one. It, that is a that is a crop I just posted <laughs> of a week of his videos where he uses the literal same face on every single video. It's so annoying. I hate it's pretty lazy. It. It's pretty pretty lazy. So uh, don't do that, Def Noodles. That might help your channel. Damn, I, I don't think I would say this ever, but even Boogie puts more effort in his thumbnails. Yeah. <laughs> At least have like three or four faces you cycle between. You know, not not one, not literally just one. Just saying. Just just an advice, just something I saw. So are people not embarrassed, like, if you follow this person or you subscribe to them, and you stand them, I guess, or whatever it's called nowadays? Would you not unsub after that debacle? They, there's a lot of people that defend it. Uh, I saw one very <laughs> mentally ill person going in on me <laughs> on Twitter about it. <laughs> saying what? Wait, 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 wait. Someone of irreputable mental health was on Twitter <laughs> I know. giving their opinion about I, something? I, I There's no but, way. I couldn't help but read some of it. It was like a 30-tweet-long argument with one oh, guy. Oh, that's always fun. 
Yeah. No way. On Twitter Saying of all what? places? That's just so unusual. So the, the the account without giving them away cuz I don't I don't want them to be harassed or anything. They were saying that I lied about Deaf Noodles <gasps> even though I was just laughing about his He's actually <laughs> funny. Roast. So when pressed someone was like, "Well, what did what did Charlie lie about?" They responded with "I shit you not." Well, what do you think he lied about? <laughs> and, he, and then the response to that was, well, that's why I asked, what did he lie about? And he's like, oh, so you think he didn't lie? Well, what do you think he lied about then? <laughs> oh, come on. No, you know, I'll just, I don't want to read it verbatim, but I'll at least pull up where it started, because it's, it's still gonna going. Be like a, it's going to be like a troll or something. No, I, I looked at the account. It's real. Here, I, he, oh. he probably should have said, like, Charlie lied about Deaf Noodles being funny or something. Here, this this is what it's An said. actual roast. So it know? started It started with that slanderous worm lying about how you got banned, and someone said, well, how did he get banned then? And the response was, first, tell me what you think happened from Charlie's lies. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you lie so much? I, I don't I don't even know what that response means. What do you think <laughs> happened from Charlie's lies? So what it what it means is he's saying you're lying about everything and the guy's asking what do you think is true out of what you're saying? Mm, I don't know because then after that they said, "Well, I I don't know what he lied about." And they responded, first tell me what you think happened from Charlie's video which I'm telling is lies, which is the premise of you asking how did he get banned?" Oh. Mm, now it makes sense. Yeah. It's Legitimate mental illness, I think. D they're fighting <laughs> over a why... 14 year old, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> or More than literate. likely a child, a literal actual child. <laughs> Not everything don't you don't like is mental illness. <laughs> no, but like, this is incohesive. <laughs> like, I'm reading this verbatim. And then the Charlie. next question, the next thing was, I'm confused. Your question makes no sense. And the response is, tell me what claim you want me to disprove and we can get started. And we're already six comments deep here. Charlie drives by local playgrounds and just shakes his head and goes, oh, tragic. Look at that. <laughs> mental illness everywhere. Ugh. That's always Tell me the claim you want me to disprove. <laughs> disprove what Charlie said if it's a lie. Tell me the claim you want me to disprove. Whatever claims you think Charlie lied about, please tell me and then tell me what is actually true. You can go watch Charlie's video and find out the claim he made. You are the one who claimed he fucking lied. Oh my god. It keeps going and going and going. <laughs> <laughs> oh and then one so of them gave up and the i guess the person you were talking about still continues replying to himself maybe someone else will be willing to say what charlie said what, what, what is this unspoken lie i don't know it's it is unhinged jackson it is fucking unhinged man it's gonna be really tough are, are when they fighting over next year. what got them their stream taken down their stream ban i I think so. I don't. I, I still am not entirely sure. The answer is, he is it's Twitch. Into saying the slur or something. I don't know. The answer is it's Twitch. If you sneeze wrong, they fucking ban you. Sometimes it's not a big mystery or a huge lie. It's not a fucking conspiracy that Charlie is involved in trying to ruin this guy's reputation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. But it's been six hours, and they're still going. No, I think they gave up five hours ago. Well, at least the last one is well, from no. five hours ago. No, it's not. There's one from an hour ago. We went over this. I know you like that he lies to you was the most recent. That was an hour I ago. Know that you like that he lies to you? Is that the new Eminem <laughs> song? What the fuck? It's <laughs> <laughs> like a subservient relationship. We only, we only like Charlie because he lies to all of us. Uh, I, I don't really know exactly yeah. what what's going on here, but it's it's pretty remarkable. You must get a lot of that. That doesn't sound too unique. People are getting really, really defensive over what's very clearly a failed and awkward roast. Yeah, Good Lord. Well, it's just one of those things where, like, if you like someone, you have to love everything they do. Mm hmm. And You're everything's right, a last... conspiracy against them. His uh, last comment is from 14 minutes ago. Yeah, these are fucking stands, dude. I, d I don't get it. Like, no matter who you are on the internet, you will attract these weirdos. I know, it's weird. It's fucking bizarre. At least stand someone cool. Go be like a fucking fanboy and like Keanu Reeves' replies, I guess, at least. Not fucking Deaf Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a bot farm or something. I guess it could be a bot, but that there's something that's gone very wrong with the programming. <laughs> How long has Deaf Noodles been making content? Like four years or something? I don't know. It very, sure. very easily could be someone who found them when they were like 14 and now they're a young adult, so they're like taking it personally. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. usually how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like Death eight. Noodles is their father figure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Aww. yeah, very well could be. You're insulting their dad. <laughs> Don't you pick got on their, their dad. dad. Band. That's fucked, Charlie. Yeah, it's a, I, I went a little yeah. far. Yeah, I apologize. Uh, yeah, so the other thing that happened this week was the new Saints Row game came out. And, uh... Ooh. It, mm-hmm. it's, uh Student loan debt, Jackson. Huh? Student loan debt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really confused. I thought you were student changing the subject. Student loan debt, Jackson. Change yeah. the subject to student loan debt. That's what Saints Row wants to the do. The entire fucking game is about student loan debt. But they never say anything <laughs> interesting about it either. The writing is so they don't. So they just complain. Bad. It's so I, bad. So, so I, I think Saints Row is cool. I've played three and four and a little bit of two. I, I like the series from afar. And uh, when that trailer dropped for the new Saints Row at E3, or the, was it the Game Awards? One of the two. I remember all four of us were like, this looks like shit. This looks terrible. Well, mystery solved. The game is out and it's shit. And it's terrible. And it's getting really lukewarm reviews at best. And I've been, I didn't buy it because again, I vote with my wallet, but I've been watching clips and taking in screenshots and all this shit. And man, it, it has quite possibly the worst, most cringy dialogue in a game I've seen it's, yet. It's awful. It's like- It's so I'm embarrassing. So the, the writer, <laughs> uh, the writing, it, it's like if someone has based their entire life on Twitter. It's like someone yeah. who lives on Twitter is now writing a video game. That's what it is. The exact things, the exact things that Saints Row 3 and 4 parodied in certain steps, are now what Saints Row is. It's insane. It's They've so, gone full it, circle. There's like the one clip that I saw, and I sent this one to Charlie. It was like two minutes of the character just driving, saying different swear words over and over again. And like, that's not even that's doing it a disservice. It's not even that. It was uh like one of the things was crap. So she says crap, and then crap, 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 fucking crap, crap. Crap, fuck, crap, 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 crappity crap. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the one where I said it sounds like it's... your average Deadpool movie. It's just shit, 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 fucker, fucker, fuck shit, cunt, fuck, crap. Yeah, but it's... Over and over. Like, it's, it's not even it's... that. It's way worse. It's like on-the-nose millennial hipster humor. Like, like just the, what you would see in those, like, really hipstery kind of, I don't know, we like to be trendy kind of humor writing rooms just the war shit the it's the same kind of writers who make all those terrible terrible comedies where all the characters have to be like quirky and slightly whimsical and that's the joke you know what i mean dude if i was god emperor i would ban these activists from making games enough of this freedom shit like i would just ask okay do you think a game should be funny and fun or do you think it should be political and then i would fucking just send them into the gulags if they say political i apparently they changed I mean, I just uh, trying to be as non-offensive as possible is a political decision. They apparently changed one of the shops in the game that was called Rim Jobs, where you can pimp your ride to oh, Jobs yeah. Rims or Jim's Rims or Ugh. something like that. It's like, why? Who would this I, possibly offend? This is a I game where you can walk, ar- walk around with a giant dildo bat and like yeah. whack each other. I I would love to remind everyone listening to this if you're not aware. This was supposed to be a soft reboot, and the whole point is Saints Row. Let's let's use four as an example. In Saints Row Four, you are the president of the United States who runs around naked, beats people up with a giant dildo, kills zombies, shoots guns, fucking like scales and crashes into buildings and all this shit. You are a goofy whack ball of a weirdo who yeah. fights aliens. And then they announced they were soft rebooting it, and they were like, we want to get back into finding out who the saints are and introducing and characters and meaningful stories and it's like okay that might work maybe you go a bit more darker a bit more gritty the first two saints rows were a little more serious like you know flip the script a little bit sure but the game comes out and it's just a bunch of hipsters complaining about student loan debt and using hashtags and and that's it, it. That's the characters the are so <laughs> the characters are all so quirky and, and different but then actually not they're all just the fucking same milk toast thing like the, <laughs> the, the, there's a guy who's always got his shirt off and that's his whole shtick and he's got a waffle tattoo on his chest Oh god! Cool. I'm so excited sounds, to play it. <laughs> it sounds like the death noodles of video games. Just the, it, it's so yeah, inoffensive, it, it becomes cringe yeah. and lay. Uh, that's it's a shame bad. for it's, Saints Row. 
The whole point of Saints Row was it was supposed to be a Grand Theft Auto competitor that pushed things to the edge. Grand Theft Auto is goofy, goofy. but it but it but it has like limits. You know, like there's only so much goofiness you're gonna have in Grand Theft Auto. Whereas in Saints Row, they were like, let's give you superpowers and let you like shrink and grow your body size and like have you drive this fucking impossible machine. And it's like they didn't care. It was you take Grand Theft Auto, you do anything you can think of. That was the appeal of the series. But now they just became not only a boring Grand Theft Auto ripoff, but what Grand Theft Auto would make fun of explicitly. <laughs> yeah. What Saints Row would stupid. make fun of. Um, and Saints Row, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's yeah it was always like a GTA that didn't take itself seriously and that's what was fun yeah. about it but now it's just it's like grey <laughs> that's how I would describe it's it it's just, just the colour grey yeah. it's yeah. just so market director like boardroom meaning fucking hipster think tank writing we've been seeing this for fucking like 10 years now it's boring uninspired shit it's and you just stop writing it's characters like... that are boring i hate relatable characters i will say it because the majority of them are boring people you can have great relatable characters like luke fucking skywalker luke skywalker is a really well-written character in the original star wars movies because he becomes a jedi and a powerful dude and a hero but in the beginning he's like i don't really want to leave you know i, I want to leave my boring house i don't really want to like go on a big adventure i just want to go somewhere new i kind of miss having friends and i hate living on a farm and well wait a minute i'm not a jedi that's a lot of this is some weird shit and i don't want that responsibility and oh this bar seems kind of shady i don't know if i want to go in there he's relatable but you like him because he's also <laughs> charming and he's nice and he's you know he accepts the call of destiny and he's determined etc 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 but all these new characters in these mediums are just boring fucking annoying pieces of shit who do nothing but complain and have boring normal human problems that they don't solve because they go on an adventure unrelated to them and then they complain about them while going on that adventure. I don't want my wacky gangster shoot 'em up game to have constant complaints about student loan debt. <laughs> That's just because you don't understand funny. student loan debt. You can't Andrew. relate to it. I had student loan no, debt. Yeah, no, yeah, you it can't sucked, relate. Not but like I didn't them. want it to consume my life. You don't have a waffle tattoo. <laughs> Oh, fair, fair. I do not have an ironic tattoo. I'm sorry. I You're have not said an overeducated college graduate, Andrew, sitting in the boardroom meeting, developing this game <sighs> and knowing better yeah, than gamers. Did you even gamers graduate wants. college? I did. Yeah, that's look the this funny guy. part. A likely story. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you wouldn't understand this, but when they wrote this game, I'm sure they used very many big words that you wouldn't understand, like toxicity like and gamers suck and diversity and, and inclusion yeah. and synergy story <laughs> oh god oh god i i miss when you could write games from a writer who focused on telling a story first and foremost when like development of things you wanted to talk about and topics and themes was second the first was what's the story why are these characters interesting? What's happening? Is it exciting and emotional? That should always be the number one question with every single story. The game like, it's, it's not even thought of now. It's all about like appealing now. And you just make people who are boring and recycled <laughs> shit. I hate it. Oh God. The game also has like, it's like one of the game, one of the only games that I've ever had a feeling of like ludo narrative dissonance where like, they're, they're constantly talking about how bad student loans are and one of them's an orphan who only wants to like <laughs> uh, help orphans out in the uh, out in the city and he wants to give all he, all his like money to the orphans it's a shirtless guy by the way with the waffle tattoo um but then like in the next scene they just execute a lawyer just because and it's like the yep. whole gag and then they're mowing down people in the streets and like it's so much bad that they're, they're causing so much mayhem and, and killing shit but they're actually good guys because they care about student loans and orphans but then nothing happens with that. It's it's so weird. I hate it. There's like no thought <sighs> that goes into it. Well, I'm excited game. for it, so. It's also You'll get broken. a lot out of it, Charlie. It yeah, I love games like that. Just like yeah. actually bad games. I yeah. saw the final <laughs> cutscene doesn't work for a lot of people. Yeah. I watched oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, in Skill Up's review, he plays the final cutscene. 
and it bugs out so fucking hard in a standoff that the last guy like goes into a T pose and then does fifteen <laughs> somersaults and stands yeah. still. No, but, not in a fun way, like in still, an obviously he, broken way. Yeah. But it's but it's while he's standing still, his torso does a yeah. bunch of somersaults and his legs are stationary on the ground. It's so good. Oh man, and yeah, they like delayed the, the game for sick. like they delayed they? it for like six months too. They I did, think. Yeah, they had like yeah. It, 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 it had a delay, but that it was needed, because they it needed another year. Well, they. If I remember correctly, correctly, they delayed it because it was coming out the same time as fucking Elden Ring. Oh, good luck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. That would have been good. Speaking of games that I'm glad are failing, Battlefield 2042 is currently down to 4,400 players and Isn't counting. That up? I swear it was like 400 players. No, so yeah, it, it, it is up. It so, it, no, so it went up, it, it was down to 1,900, and then they got the big update that, like, was a huge bug fix update, and it went up to 6K. Nice. But now, it's down to 4,500, and I bring this number up because next month, when Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 launches, I want to check on this number again and see where it's at. I have a good th feeling it'll be, like, sub-1,000. Yeah, is probably. that... Uh, this is an honest question. I don't know. Uh, is there much overlap between Call of Duty players yes. and Battlefield players? Huge, huge. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely huge overlap. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. Any they shooter were... has overlap. Literally any shooter. But but specifically those two, they were the big boys of the first person shooter genre in their heyday. Like like twenty ten. Well, that's why I ask. I remember they whole... were all, all the the fan bases of both of them were always constantly fighting back in like the yeah. early twenty tens. Well, no, no, they they're they're definite sides, but like the entirety of the twenty tens was like jumping back and forth between Battlefield and Call of Duty. Yeah. 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 So right. yeah, tons of overlap. I I would be willing to bet once Call of Duty comes out, that number is gonna fucking plummet to zero. It's done. It's dead. Yeah, stuff needed to happen like at the start of the year to save it. Mm -hmm. Well, allegedly, um, they are implementing changes in the next big major update that make it more like actual yeah, Battlefield so classes games. are coming back. Yeah, classes are coming back and this and that yada yada. But it's it's far too late. It's just far too late. Try again next game, guys. Like, wrap it up. It's done. They shouldn't make any more Battlefields. I, I think they should. I want to give, them one, I wanna give them one more chance. I want to give them one more chance, because I really do love the <laughs> franchise. <laughs> one more chance. One more chance. One more. Ignore the fucking executive decisions. Focus on making a cool shooter that's fun. You Drop have the all fucking... the building blocks there throughout all of the yeah. Battlefield games that you've made. Just take what works from each of them. Well, they, yeah, and they even had the building blocks on this one. All the promotional material, all the, like, early stuff, yeah. it looked promising. And then the beta came out, and everyone was like, nope, this is gonna suck ass. And it did. Oh, well. What can you do? All right, let's wrap. I gotta go get some sleep. Thank you, everyone, sure. for mm -hmm. watching this episode of the official podcast. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you next... Oh, wait. Uh, Patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus episodes and additional content uh, mm -hmm. and Patreon access so you can come listen live like everyone here listening live. Thank you for joining us. And we're we will also, see you next week. Nope. Hang on. We're also doing game nights now <laughs> every once in a while. <laughs> so join us What happened with Andrew then? I, you I don't saying know. nope was really funny to me. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Kaya. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye. See ya.